with you and tell you what. Hi, I'm Vera Squawk and welcome to my channel. Oh my God, what can I say? Thank you so much to all my followers that vote for me. Thank you so much for this recognition. Thank you ACGN to create this event and uh, giving the opportunity for us to showcase our, our work to the world. So thank you very much, appreciate. It's over 10 years of hard work. And you're talking about the hard work. If you've been following me for a little while, you probably already watched this uh, tutorial in another channel. But I wanted to share with you, especially my new followers, how easy and simple is this structure. It's light, it's cheap, it's easy to put together, and you can create almost any music instrument. All you have to do is stain the template, but the way to assemble is exactly the same. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to share my videos with your friends. If you click in the bell on the right corner there, you get notified first when I release new videos and you are in for a treat. Next month we are going to do the Coco guitar, acoustic guitar, but it's interactive. You can pick it up, play with the guitar, and guess what? There's cake inside this guitar. So I hope you enjoy this first video and next month we can do together this amazing guitar. Thank you so much for your support. Enjoy the video! So the material we are using is foam coral, foam board. We are using many other projects that I have on my YouTube. It's a styrofoam compressed between two papers and uh, you can find even vinyl on the market. I really like the vinyl too because it's much more stronger but it's a little bit harder to cut it. So you will need a table saw. But foam core or foam board it's really easy to cut this with the stainless knife, so it's a great idea to create structures and it's very light too. And, uh, and of course you can do the uh, violin or you can do a guitar, it just changes the template but the process and the idea is exactly the same as you're gonna see on this video. In fact, uh, at the Bunnies I found this one, I get a lot of people asking me, can I use the quilt sign boards that they sell at your hardware store, this one I got from Bunnings? Yes, you can use, it works pre perfect, it's just much more harder to cut it. So I ended up using my table saw to cut that. But it works perfect and it's really cheap too, so I have absolutely no problem to insert my shelves and to create the extract and in fact it's much more stronger than the foam board. So it's an option, if you can't find foam board, the sign boards works perfect too, it's just a little bit harder to cut it. And another thing of course that is very important is the brackets, alright? So you have to go to your local hardware store and select the bracket. It's very important that you don't have nothing holding the bracket. It's just a simple L shape like these ones or these ones. And of course it's gonna be completely straight. So you have to ask a very strong man like me. I always ask my husband to help me. <laughs> or you need a table vise. You put a table vise in your table and try to bend this on any angle you want. I, I really like this uh, 80 degree. I like 80 degrees. It gives me a really nice balance. It's not totally on the upper right. It looks more uh, natural, that, but of course I, you could cover the back of your cake with fondant so it matches the color of the music instrument on the front. So the idea in here is to print your template I just want you to trace your template so I got a front view of the violin okay I have to trace these two times uh, on the foam core and then we have to cut it. 
It's very important that your Stanley knife is very sharp uh, so you don't get any you get a nice clean cut and I will keep cutting my uh, other thing plate Now we're gonna assemble these uh, violins. I cannot tell you exactly where to put your shells because each country has a different brackets, all right? So the idea in here is when I put my cake against the bracket, where we're gonna insert the screws is where I would like to put uh, my shelves because foam core is super light I need uh, I, I need found a strong point to this structure to screw bracket and what bracket you're gonna use because uh, remember we have a lot of different brackets much bigger brackets you know so it depends what you're gonna get eh? uh, you will completely change where to put your hole so that's the reason why I cannot tell you exactly where to put your shell. Uh, you're gonna have to get your bracket and then um, bend it as much as you want, 80 degrees, 70 degrees, and then you mark where the screws go being searched. And then when you know where your shelf is gonna be, so then all you have to do, get a piece of your foam core that you have left over there and put it right on top of the marker you just made with the wood skewer and then you have to cut these out so you're gonna cut right where the space is gonna be there and remove it where the shelves is gonna be because now we're gonna hot glue the shelves in position. Five centimeters thick. All right, I think it's a good thickness. Um, anything more than five centimeters, it makes the, the, the violin look too, too big. Any, uh, anything less than that, then you, you don't have too many cakings. So that shelf is gonna go here. And these shelves gonna go. let's hot glue together. So let's do the top first. To glue the first piece. And then we are going to hot glue the shelf. And now we're gonna hot glue the middle part too. make sure you compress the two parts together so the shell is nice and compressed there and then we're gonna glue the second shell So I like to put uh, some wood skewers inside my shelf and that makes it even more strong so I can put a lot of weight in here on this shelf. So it's a very light structure, really firm and of course you have to check this, the regulations in your country and cover this uh, structure with the material that is allowing your country. So I use a lot of these, it's a contact to paper that um, we use it to cover the kids books in school. So here's some more important things to organize for your structure. So we have to hot glue our hand together. You must be asking why she is doubling, why she is having two, is because I want it to be strong. If I, it's only one, it's too thin, it's not strong enough. And in this one, um, I cut it four 
because I want it to be the same in thickness as the top of my um, handle. I'm going to hot glue. So for the violino, for the bottom of my violino, I need to put a little piece of styrofoam at the bottom to create, to support the weight, right? And you can ask why do I have to put a styrofoam in there? Well, this is really basically is gravity. If I'm putting the cake in the upper right position, if it's all cake, it probably it will slide down. It's not enough for support for the weight so I'm just putting a little piece it could it be even less than that it's just to support the weight and then I can have my cake complete standing up if I want and I'm also putting a little piece of a cake board there on top so my cake is not in contact with the styrofoam so where the handle is gonna go in here on our violin uh, I need to make the support where we're gonna put uh, the, the handle on top. So you can use the leftover foam core, the foam board you have, and glue one top of the other until you get the higher one. And I usually I make one board higher than the, my structure. Or you could just you, simply cut a piece of uh, styrofoam and you put it there. But it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, what do you choose? I just prefer using the foam core because it's a little bit more strong and supports the the, uh, the weight of my handle very good, uh, especially if you have a long way to travel with this cake, so it's a nice strong structure. And of course when you have everything already assembled, already cut, it's time to sand. So sand everything, uh, all the, the parts, it has to be nice and smooth. And the two, all the parts have to match. So make sure you send everything. If it gets in some places that is really hard to get, you can uh, use the your rolling pin with the sandpaper and go right where the round parts are. As you know, I like to work with cold cake, so I bake my cakes um, well in advance, I freeze and then when I'm going to use the day before, I take from the freezer, put on a refrigerator and then there is this lovely condensation that is happening and the cake is nice and moist and uh, it's still cold, so that means when I add the ganache and this is 4 by 1 ratio because I'm working with white chocolate, so when I add the ganache, everything sets hard really quick and very firm. The ganache for me is like my cement, is what keeps everything in position and the cake doesn't move, it stays there nice and firm. You can cut your cake in as many layers you want. There's no right or wrong in here how you're gonna do that. You can simple measure the space there between the and take from the cake and then insert the cake so there's no right or wrong in here how you're gonna do that so after you insert it is very important that to splash with the cake so you just level So the easiest way to cut a jeans is by 
putting a piece of baking paper on top of your cake that's already level you get a cake board put the cake board on top of your cake and then you flip it like that and then of course with a sharp knife you just go around very gentle especially because this is a vanilla cake so it's very soft I'm just gonna follow the shape and it, the structure of my cake So for the handle, as you can see, I cut the space in here at the top and I also cut a little bit of it on the sides of my top part there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue and attach together like that. So, do me a hot glue.
I'm using this new product called Shiny Spray from Chocolate World and it's incredible. What it does to the cakes are a beautiful shine. I absolutely love that. I recommend it's new to the market so you can contact Paul from Loyal or you can contact go to the website on Chocolate World. I'm going to put all the information for you and all you have to do is give a good shake and then you spray your music instrument and this will give you a beautiful shine on your cake that will last And because I know you're gonna ask me how does one cut this cake? I get this question all the time. And so it's very simple. You can start by removing the uh, skewers from inside the cake, all right? So that will help you to get on your cake, all right? That is simple as that. And then you get your knife and you slide where the cake is, all right? So as simple as that, you can remove the butterflies if you want, if they are edible. So you know, because the knife is gonna stop. So when you slide in the knife, the knife is gonna stop where the first shell is. So then, of course, you can cut in as many layers as you want, all right? I like to cut it in here in the middle, right? And uh, we wanted to feed as much people as possible. <laughs> So I just, the knife is gonna stop where the structure is too. So you can uh, come behind because there's a lot of ganache there. And as you can see here, we have two pieces there. There's two people eating there. Can you turn that around? Turn around. Okay, uh, yeah, but then I can't cut. Yeah, we'll turn it back a little bit more so you can see. Uh, got that? You got that? <laughs> so as you can see, this is the first shell. So when you cut, the knife stop on the first shell. So then you know that the, the shell is there, right? So from that shell, you go down to the next shell. So you know where the, the knife will tell you when to stop carving, right? As simple as that, if it was wood, it would be exactly the same thing, right? And then, of course, you can cut in as many pieces as you want for your guesses. And obviously, you would have a better knife. Well, what is wrong with this knife? I like it's painted. <laughs> what is wrong? All right, so there's the next part. I, I prefer to take some of the elements because nobody likes black fondant, all right? And uh, go to the next one. You know the structures in here, and you know where the other one is. The knife comes from behind, because you know where the structure is. And then you can cut uh, how many pieces you want. As simple as that, it's not hard to, to, to slice this cake. Mm -hmm.